Animal lover lovers, gather round. We've got another heartwarming pet of the week this week. Today we have a very special guest, a furry friend, snacking right now, who's ready to find their forever home from Austin Dog Rescue. Erin Ferguson is here to tell us more. Erin, good Hello, morning. Good morning. This is such a precious pup. We've been giving him so many hugs and squeezes off camera. Introduce us to Watson. He is such a cutie pie. This is Watson. He's about six months old. He is a very, <laughs> very happy and sweet boy. Um, he's still a puppy, but he is picking up on his behavior and manners so well. He's in a foster home um, right now, and he's been there since he was about 10 weeks old. Um, and he's just, a, he's really a good boy. He is a good boy. And I will say the fosters are actually off camera, so they get to be in the studio today getting to see him on camera. They said, be handsome, buddy. <laughs> Go out there and get your forever home. Um, but they've had him for a long time. Unfortunately, a bit of a sad story as to how he came to Austin Doggy Rescue. Can you just talk to me about that? Yeah, he was uh, most likely abandoned mm. um, in a rural area with his brother, who has since been adopted. So it's this guy's turn. Um, <laughs> you know, look at that face. He's so sweet. <laughs> and he's got still, you know, a puppy face. You said he's about six months old. Mm -hmm. He's still got some growing to do. He does. We think he'll probably be about 50 five pounds maybe mm -hmm. so you know it's a it's a pretty good size he he'll be kind of tall and lean we think because mm -hmm. you know? he's already got leggies yeah he's a tall boy yes. sprouting already <laughs> um, but he really wants to please people so I know that he is fully crate trained mm -hmm. still working on potty training still right? working on that um, but yes fully crate trained um, he does really well in the house with other dogs um, hasn't been cat tested yet. Okay, good to know. Um, but I mean, he's such a sweet boy. He probably would be. He'd probably want to play with a cat, which might end up being a little bit annoying. But you know, they <laughs> learn. Um, he's been around a bird, a pet bird, and doesn't seem to you know have any kind of interest in playing or or you know doing anything. With That's that. good. Keep the birds safe. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Um, and and he's playing around a little bit today, y'all, with a squeaky toy. So you might hear some squeaks in the background. This is his new favorite thing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yes. So a little snacks on the floor, a little squeaky toys as well. He's <laughs> yes. he's been going for it. Check it. it out. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about who would be a great home for Watson. This guy is really one of those kind of versatile dogs where he would probably fit in just about anywhere. I okay. mean, he would love to have a, you know, a home with dogs. He'd be fine without dogs. Um, he'd be great, you know, to have sort of an active, fun lifestyle. Um, but as all dogs do, they love being couch potatoes. So he's been around kids. He's been around other dogs. Um, you know, he just, he really would fit in and, and just about almost anywhere. The world's perfect dog. I You're know. looking at him on the screen, everybody. <laughs> and I will say from touching his coat, one, it's so soft, and two, he doesn't seem to be shedding much. I which know. for, you know, anybody who's looking to bring home a pup, I think is good information to have. Agree. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if somebody's watching this morning, they can't get enough of his sweet little face <laughs> and they want to learn more about adopting him, what does a process look like? So uh, potential adopters should go to austindog.org and there um, are profiles about all of the dogs that we have available for adoption. Um, all of our dogs are in foster homes, so it really gives us an opportunity to explain and you know, really fit the dog into the right home. So they go to the website, um, just fill out the application, and then it will be you know, coordinated <laughs> with- <laughs> He's seen himself on camera. <laughs> He's like, what is that? <laughs> Hang on. He's like, who's that handsome guy? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> you got to protect yourself. We get it, Watson. <laughs> OK, I'm sorry. We were talking about adoption. That just cracked me up. Yes. What a funny guy. And that's, that's kind of his personality. He's just sweet and just silly and just goofy like that. And, and curious as, see, as well. Curious. He's still learning, mm -hmm. you know, because he's just a little guy, six months old. So oh, wonderful. Yeah. So people can learn a little bit more about him by going online. And yes. then we're still, of course, always interested in fosters. Just since you mentioned everybody is in a foster yes. home, it's so important to have that present. And you're a foster yourself. I am. I have a foster right now. Um, I typically do have a foster. We definitely 
are always interested in having new fosters. Um, it's how we operate. We have all volunteers in our organization. Um, any kind of the, the funds and donations that we get go directly to the programs. Um, primarily, those expenses are medical. So, you know, vets, spays, neuters, um, uh, vaccines, you know, any kind of medical treatment that they need. We do take a lot of medical cases for heartworm or um, you know, orthopedic surgeries, that kind of thing. Okay, so I think you're doing a really good job of reminding everybody the hard work that you do and why it's so important that we continue to support you. Yes. Especially, let's bring up that spay and neuter clinic because last time we had Edward in the studio with Austin Dog Rescue, he was talking about how this is really y'all's new initiative. Yes, it's a new program um, that we've kicked off this year and we just have recognized, as so many in the community have, that there's a big overpopulation crisis and um, we want to try to do our part to, you know, take another, you know, angle at tackling that in addition to continuing to pull animals in need from the shelters. We do want to contribute um, to the spay and neuter, you know, initiatives across the, across Central Texas. Absolutely. So follow along on social media. That way you can find out more about the clinic. Get them, Watson. <laughs> Who's that strange puppy on TV? And just if somebody's watching this morning and maybe they're, they've got a little time on their hands this summer, the potential to volunteer maybe, what would you say oh, to that? Yes, for sure. Definitely, you know, reach out on social media or um, via our website. There's contact information. Uh, we definitely, you know, even if you're not able to foster, we have other opportunities as well. You know, we just, we need all different kinds of people and their special skills. Absolutely, and it doesn't have to be every day of the week, Right. whenever you can help. Exactly. Okay, exactly. wonderful. I appreciate it, Erin. Thank you for introducing us to oh, this yes. sweet boy. You did a good job, Watson. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> wagging that little tail, he's so cute. You'll yes. learn more about adopting Watson and all the other adorable dogs that are available at austindog.org.